Hello, Maximo. How are you? Máximo. Julissa, hello, how are you? Good evening, fine. Great. Mm. Are you ready for today? I think. <laughs> okay, great. So today you're not at work, right? Uh, I work, but in the morning. Ah, okay, okay. Good. Well, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, we have two more classes, really um, more one class. Today, we're going to finish unit five, which is the objective. And then we're going to go in tomorrow to do our final exam. Uh, first, do you remember yesterday uh, a little bit about the idea of tag questions? Julissa? Sorry, I can hear you. Okay, let me try again. Do you remember tag questions? Mm, I don't remember. I remember that the, we learn about should and shouldn't. Okay. Teacher. Yes, Maximo. Uh, the third question is like uh, the word verdad? Similar, similar, exactly. Only that it's a different structure, but it's like the idea. This is the idea because it's to check, it's to check the information. Mm -hmm. Okay. When the statement is affirmative, the third, third question is neg in negative. Correct. When and the Mm -hmm. A statement is a negative. The third question is an, an affirmative. Correct. Very good. It's affirmative. That's right. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to watch a video to help us remember a little bit. And then we're going to have the opportunity to practice. Okay. So okay. let's take a look at our video, helping us remember a little bit about tag questions. Very good, Maximo. 
affirmative tag. Hi, welcome back. Let me ask you something. Learning English is easy, isn't it? I thought so. Tag questions for opinions. Affirmative statement plus negative tag. Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? There are lots of criminals in the city, aren't there? Graffiti makes everything look ugly, doesn't it? Colleges should provide daycare, shouldn't they? Negative statement plus affirmative tag. Child care isn't cheap, is it? There aren't enough police, are there? People don't care about our city, do they? You can't find affordable child care, can you? I will begin the explanation telling you when to use tag questions. We use tag questions when we expect someone to agree with us or when we're asking for confirmation. This is how tag questions work. When a statement is affirmative, the tag question is negative. For example, learning English is easy, isn't it? Learning English is our positive statement, and isn't it is our tag question in negative. We may also do it the other way around. Negative statement, affirmative tag question. Child care isn't cheap, is it? I also want to explain that when we use be as the main verb, be is also used in tag question. Similarly, we use the same model in the main clause and the tag. For example, we should pay our taxes, shouldn't we? However, simple present and past verbs use the auxiliary verb in the tag. For example, graffiti makes everything look ugly, doesn't it? You found affordable childcare, didn't you? Hi, I'm sure you understood this topic, didn't you? In case you didn't, Feel free to ask your teacher and watch the explanation if needed. Okay, so the most important is like the example that Maximo was talking about. If the sentence is positive, we use a negative tag. If the sentence is negative, we use a positive tag. How do you know what is the correct tag? How do you know if it's is, are, does? should, etc. It depends on the auxiliary in the sentence. If the sentence has the auxiliary is, isn't, positive or negative, we use the same auxiliary in the tag. If the auxiliary has a model, for example, should, can, then you use the same auxiliary in the tag. You don't change it. The only thing that you change is to balance positive and negative. This is going to be the only difference. Morena, is that okay? Any questions? Okay, teacher. Um, okay, I got it when you say if the, the sentence is has is, and you have to say in negative, isn't it? But doesn't? Okay, great. So let me put in the chat a sentence. As an example, a sentence. Do you like, do you like pizza? This is the sentence. Take a look in the chat. Morena, if I put this sentence yes. in a question, how do I begin the question? I want to change this sentence to a question. How do I change to a question? Because I have to say in, in a question, right? Yeah. How do, do you, you like pizza? Exactly. Do. Very good, Morena. Do. So the tag, you like pizza. And then we put the do, in this case, the negative. Don't you? <laughs> Don't you? Why okay. don't? Because the sentence is positive. Remember, if the sentence positive, the tag negative. If, yes, teacher. Okay. So if I put in the negative, 
you don't like pizza. This is the sentence. If I want to make, you. Uh -huh. if I want to make a question, if I want to make it a, a tag question, I put, okay, you don't like pizza. And then I put in the positive tag. Okay, look in the chat and see if that helps you understand a little bit better. We have the yes. two examples. So that's how you know when it's do or does. Be because in the sentence, only the verb, no auxiliary. Okay, Julissa, any questions? Mm, not for me. I I can. Okay, Maximo, any questions? Sure, it's clear. It's clear. Okay, great. Then let's try a little bit together to make sure that it's clear for everyone. Here I have some sentences. Let's take a look. Maximo number one, Julissa two, and then Morena three, and we go in an order. Number one. Number one. Isn't it? Isn't it? Okay. There we go. <laughs> Julissa. Thank you. Thank Bless you. Thank you. Bless you. Mm. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Doesn't it? Uh, I don't know. Okay, no problem. But you think it's doesn't it? So we put doesn't it. Now, mm -hmm. number three. Morena? Alan is handsome. Isn't it? Okay. Isn't it? Okay. We're going to stop right there because it, we already have two mistakes in three sentences. Okay. So how are in we going second, to... In the yes. second and the third. The second and the third. Correct. The second and the third are not correct. Now, why are they not correct? Because we are not following the subject. Let's take a look. Here... What is the topic? Eyes. The eyes. Good. Eyes. How many eyes? One or two? It's it uh, are there plural. Eyes. Two. Are two. Plural. So then it is one. So it is not correct. Okay. And look, that is this is the one mistake. Two. Look at the auxiliary in the sentence. The auxiliary in the sentence are, look at the auxiliary in the answer. Does it? Aren't. Uh -huh. Aren't they? Match. It not match. So her eyes are green. Aren't, Aren't they? they? Aren't they? Exactly. Aren't. Now is correct. And uh, so in my case, uh, it mm -hmm. would be, isn't he? Isn't he? Isn't he? Okay. Isn't he? All right. So exactly that's the idea morena now we have it okay. subject auxiliary subject auxiliary and then we go in the same order okay let's try the next one maximum they live in lugo doesn't they doesn't they okay i ah, know they don't they ah okay good because doesn't not exist with that with day good don't day mm -hmm. good who listen i am the tallest then i what is the auxiliary who lisa mm -hmm. Lisa, what is the auxiliary in the sentence? I 
am the, the or tallest? tallest. Wh which word the is the auxiliary? Tallest. Mm. The auxiliary would be. Mm. I don't know. Okay, no problem. Uh -huh. Repeat, Bertie. Bonita. Think about it like this, Julissa. Think about it like this. Which is the verb? Which is the verb in the sentence? Verb to be? Oh, tallest. No, tallest, not a verb. No action, oh, tallest. It's adjective. Mm -hmm. Adjective. Am, am. Am, okay, am. good. So, am is the verb to be, right? So, now we have to find the verb to be. And we look at the subject. The subject, I. So which is the correct one, Julissa? Uh, don't I? Okay, Julissa. The answer is aren't I. Why don't? Uh, because exactly, no, not the idea. So here, the verb to be, the verb to be. Remember, yes. it has to match. The two have to match. But Sorry. don't worry, we're going to practice. More, we have a fast car. We have a fast car. Don't we? Okay, don't we? Good. Maximo. Does, does, don't? A doesn't she? What is the auxiliary, Maximo? The ah, uh, she can. Mm -hmm. Auxiliary is can, can, can't she? Correct, exactly. Remember, look for the auxiliary. See, see. The auxiliary. Can she? Good. Julissa? Doesn't she? Okay, better. Very good. Doesn't she? Here, he, but. He. Doesn't she? He. Okay, good. Moreno? Teacher, yes, Maximo. I have a question. Yes, Maximo. In the statement, I am the tallest. Yes, Maximo. Why why do you use aren't? Because the uh, Yes, Maximo. Is a uh, valga la redundancia. Formal form are or no. aren't no maximum uh, instead of I'm not no maximum I'm not I no maximum uh, it's because the question the questions we use with are maximum are you the tallest the answer yes I am the tallest Mm -hmm. So, okay. because the questions are with R, we use R for the I, for the type question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember, mm -hmm. the type question only is change this in opposite. Positive, change to negative. Change okay. this from positive, change to negative. Oh. The, the, uh, the type question is so... only to change the order. That is the only. Ah, se me olvidó preguntar. Correcto? Correcto is not correcto. Correcto is only the function is changed to inform is a question. Okay. That is the only function to change the order so that the person knows is not a sentence. The person knows is a question. All right. More, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I see very well, don't I? Okay. Well, and the last one, Maximo? Doesn't he? Okay. His cat chases birds. Almost correct. Almost correct. Oh, the last one, no. No. 
Why not? What is the correct for the last one? Uh, can you spread the, the option, please? I don't know if it, it can chase beer. It's cat. Isn't... Uh, doesn't it? No. 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 Uh, it's, yes, yes. Uh -huh. I got it. Correct. Not the man. We're talking about the cat. Mm -hmm. Good. Now we have a little bit better idea for the negative tags. Let's try the positive tags. Here, we're going to try the positive. Julissa, number one. Do you? Okay. Let's try it. Number two, Morena. Yeah, I am not the best. I am. Am I? Okay. Maximo? Do we? Okay. Julissa? Is it? Mm -hmm. Morena? Yeah. Okay, then. Can we? Okay. Good. Maximo? Do are, I know, do, mm, do they. Do they, okay, good. Morena left, Julissa. Is she? Okay, is she? All right, Maximo. Does it? Okay, good. Julissa? Um, are they? Are they? Yes, are they? Good, and the last one? Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? Okay. Pretty good. Sure. We do sure. have a mistake. Yes, Maximo? And the statement, Lucy is never happy. The word never, it transform the sentences in negative. Correct. Okay. Correct. Because never is the negative. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Only one little mistake here. Because we are not talking about you, we are talking about she. Hey, she. Ah, she. That's she. There you go. So now we can check is correct because the topic is and not you. A little bit better, a little bit better. Let's try. Now you have to decide what is the correct. We did positive, we did negative. Now we start to have a little bit of mixed, okay? Here we're going to take a moment and I'm going to share the links with you and you're going to try it. That way to make sure that you're learning correctly and not together. So let me give you one second. Sorry. You can find the link in the chat. Yes. Okay. 
Let's take two minutes and try to complete, and then I will help you. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you have questions, let me know. Okay, teacher. Excellent, Maximo. Any questions? No, teacher. Mm -hmm. Everything was correct, Maximo? Your score is 100%. Mm -hmm. My score. Wonderful. Wonderful. Julissa Morena, are you ready? Almost finished. Okay. Give me a one minute more. Finish. Okay, how did you do? Fine. Uh, all is correct. Excellent. And for you, More? I'm so sorry. I'm only, I, 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 only I have to finish two, two, please. Two. Go ahead, More. Don't worry. Don't worry. Mm hmm. My score was or is seven, seven. <laughs> seven. Don't I had three uh, falls. Okay, okay. Don't worry, more. That's why we practice. That's why we practice. Okay. Now we're gonna try one more. We're gonna have another link right there in the chat. Take a look in the chat. We have another practice to make sure that we are doing it correctly and not that it, we are lucky. So let's try one more.
I, I, I'm finished. I finished. Great, Maximo. How did you do it in the second time? My score is 100%. Okay. So then you understand perfectly the topic. Yes? Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Do you have any question, Maximo? In the first exercise, uh -huh. I I have one question. Can you mm -hmm. sh show me? Go ahead. One moment. Okay. Let me take a look. In the one where it says my parrot can talk. No, in the no. In the in the last exercise. Oh, okay, in the last exercise. Okay, mm -hmm. let me take a look. Mm -hmm. Okay, and in the, always, link number one. Number link one. Number one. Yes. Okay, so the one where it says they have a horse. No, no, and they have a horse. Maximum? No, in that, no. Uh, link number one, link number one. Yes, they have a horse. I'm not silly, no. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Yes, okay, okay. Yes. Uh -huh. But can I, uh, can I see? Uh, yes, one moment. Okay, let's see. So we can have, let me share for you. Okay. Give me a sec. Is this one? They have a horse. Can you see it or no? Yes. Uh, in the oh. second one, I am not silly. Okay. I am late today. Wait, one, I I am one, not silly. Two, uh huh. Okay, and the one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. I am late today. Okay. Okay. Uh, I am not silly. Can I put R I? No, you cannot. <laughs> okay, this is my dot. Mm -hmm. Because in the number nine, I am late today, aren't I? Correct. Mm -hmm. It's not clear for me. Okay. It's for uh, positive I am, and negative. I am confused. No, the, the auxiliar are and am. Yes, it's for positive and negative. And mm -hmm. I am not, you eliminate not. Mm -hmm. Am I? I am. Uh -huh. Am I? Correct. Uh -huh. Correct. Mm -hmm. And here is not exist. Uh, am am I? So uh -huh. put and always we have to use contraction. So that's uh -huh. why aren't I? Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So okay. it's not, am, it's, am, am, is it possible? No, no, it's possible. It's not, okay, you cannot okay. say, I'm not I. Uh-huh. Uh -huh, mm -hmm. That's why. Okay, okay, okay. Thank okay. you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. You're welcome. Uh -huh. okay. Julissa, did you finish? More, did you finish? Yes, I finished. How did you do? Good? Uh, yes. Uh, no 10, but no 10% or 100%, but the range is good. <laughs> The range, what is the range? What tell us more? The range 80, 86 point. 86, good. Yes. Julissa, how about you? Uh I only have a round. Uh, it's the second one. Okay. It never snows. Yes. Okay. Good. Very good. Now we're getting much, much better. So now we can practice together here. Now we can practice the writing. We have the idea how to use with multiple choice. Now here we're going to write down the correct answers. Let's try. 
So number one and two, Maximo, Julissa, sorry. Number one, the example, sorry. Number one is the example together. Maximo, number two and three. Julissa, number four and five. And Morena, number, uh, it would be uh, six and seven. And then we try. So number one, you can't escape advertising nowadays. First, I look for the auxiliary or the verb. Here has an auxiliary. The auxiliary is can. So I put can. Then I look for the subject. The subject is you. So then I put down you. Can you? Did you see? Like that. Okay. So maximum numbers two and three. Julissa number four and five. Morena number six and seven. Maximum are there. Okay, number three. Isn't it? Okay. Good. Julissa, number four and five. Aren't there? Okay. And number five. Shouldn't be. Okay. Number six and seven. Morena. Is it? Is it? Okay. Is it? Doesn't uh, it? Okay. All right. Morena, look at the sentence number seven. What is the okay. auxiliary? The auxiliary. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so sorry. Isn't it? Ah, okay. There you go. Isn't it? Let's try the last one. The city doesn't do enough for stray animals. Does it? Okay. Does it? Auxiliary doesn't. Mm -hmm. And the city, singular, it. it. Okay, now we can double check and we can see that our answers are correct. Can you? Are there? Isn't it? Aren't there? Shouldn't it? It. Mm -hmm. Not shouldn't be because we are talking about taxes. Taxes. The subject is taxes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Shouldn't it? Is it? Isn't it? And does it? Very good. Always remember that only one time we use the auxiliary or the model, and the other time is the subject. Maximo, Julissa, or Morena, do you have any questions? No. All is clear. All is clear. No. Okay, great. So now we're just going to listen a little bit about the intonation for tag questions. And we almost finished the unit. Wonderful. Here is for pronunciation. Okay. Listen and practice. Use following intonation in tough questions when you're giving an opinion and want to know if the other person agrees. Intonation in tag questions. Part A. Listen and practice. Use falling intonation in tag questions when you are giving an opinion and want to know if the other person agrees. Ethnic conflict is a terrible problem, isn't it? They should make guns illegal, shouldn't they? Before we go, we want to remind you that you may play the audio programs, explanations, and videos as many times as you need to. It is always a good idea to practice with your friends. Okay. So really, it's just about learning the pronunciation. It's about when you have the sentence, the sentence is normal, and then at the, at the bottom, isn't it? Shouldn't they? And then we just try to make the emphasis in the last two words. That's the idea for the pronunciation. Is that okay? Okay. Mm. Yes. Okay. Great. Now we have one final exercise, and this is a little bit about reading. Here we're going to read 
But in this reading, we need to put the events in order. What happened first, second, third, fourth, so on, all the way to six. Here, the sentences are not in the correct order. We need to read the story and then we're going to put them in the correct order. Okay, so the topic is how serious is plagiarism? Do you know what is plagiarism? Yes, teacher. Plagiarism, you said uh, it's a copy or replace? No. Yeah. Without alteration. Yes, exactly. It's like copy without permission. Copy. Mm -hmm. Reproduce something one or two or three times without permission of the of, <coughs> of person that is created. Exactly, exactly. So we're going to read together. Maximo, can you please read the first paragraph and the second? These two are Maximo. Ulisa, paragraph number three and four, these two paragraphs. And Morena, the last two paragraphs, these two here. Okay? Okay. Maximo, can you see or do you want me to make it bigger? No, no. it's okay. Okay, go ahead. See, recently a biology teacher in Kansas, a state in the American Midwest, made national and even international news after Christine Plenton discovered that 28 of her 118 students had plagiarized part of a major project, she gave them failing grades. Although this was the school policy, the students' parents complained. The school board directed Mrs. Plenton to change the punishment. They told her that 600 points should be taken from the offenders rather than the entire 1,800 points. Mrs. Plenton resigned in protest. In protest. protest. Why, did, why did this become such a significant story? Perhaps it is because so many people feel strongly about what is right and wrong. Although the incident may soon be forgotten, it raised some important question. What is plagiarism? How serious is it? Okay. Thank you, Maximo. Julissa? Welcome. The simplest form of plagiarism occurs when someone copies material without giving credit to the source. However, there are also more serious forms, such as when a student pays someone else to write an essay. Some people claim that copying is necessary to do well in school. They have realized that their own words are not as good as someone else. Another common argument is that everyone does in it, so it's not a big deal. In fact, it has been learned that even some highly respected figures, including Martin Luther King Jr., have plagi plagiarized. 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 Okay, good. Okay. Also, some people find reason to justify plag plagiarists. Other feel the issue is clear cut. They feel is it is normally wrong and consider is telling a thief or ideas rather than money. These people believe that students who plagiarize benefit unfairly they receive a better grade than they deserve. So what about what about the incident in Kansas? Was the original punishment too severe? 
do teachers have the right to tell students and parents what is right or wrong? Miss Pelton would probably say that the 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 job, I think, the job of a teacher is to do exactly that. Okay, thank you very much. Are there any words you don't know or any words you don't understand? No. And the word I consider that is, I understand. Morena, everything is okay? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Maximo and Julissa? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Then let's try to answer this together. Here we have, how serious is plagiarism? Which is the first thing that happened in the article? Letter A, number one. The teacher story appeared in the national news. So for maximum, number one is letter oh. A. And for you, what is number one? For me, number one. Yes. Number one, letter A, number you six. Agree. So number one, you agree, yes. No. 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 So what is number one for you, More? Six. Letter E. Letter E is number one. Yes. Yeah. Lisa. Okay. And for you, Mori, what is number one? Uh, letter E. Letter E. Okay. So let's go with number one, letter E. First, the group of students cheated on an assignment. Number two, what happened next? The teacher gave the student failing grades. Letter, uh, letter B. Letter, letter B. B. Okay, we agree, letter B, okay. And then after the teacher gave students failing grade, what happened? Student failed failing grade. Repeat. The students, the students' Parent parents were, were angry. angry. Uh, there was she. Okay, okay. Number three. Letter F. Four. Uh, number four. four, letter F. Letter, F. okay, good. Letter four, number, letter F. Number five. Letter G, the teacher letter. left her job. Okay. <laughs> the teacher, number five, the teacher left her job. Do you agree? Yes. Yes. And the last, the teacher letter story A. appeared in the news. Yes. Yes. Maximo, do you agree? Oh, yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. So as we can see here, we're pretty good. Now, what is the important? I put the numbers, but for it to be correct in the platform, you need to write the numbers. You need to write the number six, two, three, five, one, and four. The orders are correct, only that we need to write the numbers, not put the number the way it is there, okay? Okay. Good. More, any questions? No, no, any questions. Teacher. All right, it's good. 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 Julissa, any questions? No, teacher. No. Maximo, any questions? Not too sure. All right, excellent. Then we have one more activity now that we understand. Now here in this last exercise, you are going to write the answer. No multiple choice. Look, here you have to decide positive, negative, auxiliary, or whatever you need in order to answer it. So in the last one, the link is in the chat. You have to choose the correct one and write it. 
no multiple choice. Okay, so you have to. Uh, okay. Get it. okay. I am here if you have any questions, and then we check in a few moments. Hey, teacher. Okay, tell me, Maximo. Everything was okay? Any questions? No, teacher. It's clear? Yes. Okay, let's just wait one moment for Julissa and Morena. Okay. I need more time, teacher. I'm so sorry. Relax, Mori. Relax, Mori. Julissa is completing too. Julissa is completing too. Relax. Okay. Mm -hmm.
Hulisa, do you have any questions? Or Mori, do you have any questions? No. Yeah. Um, right is different. <laughs> Let's do it here. What okay. is the question? Mm -hmm. You're studying Spanish. Do you? Do No, do don't you? Okay, correct. Remember, always is positive, we put negative. Okay, so number one, we're going to try to do it together. Let's go. So, number one, you study Spanish, don't you? Good. What about number two? Aren't these? Okay, aren't these? Good. I'll write it down just so that we don't forget. Aren't these? And don't you? Good. It isn't snowing. Mm -hmm. Repeat. I don't agree. Is, you don't is agree. It. Mm -hmm. I, is don't, it. I don't agree with number two. Okay. What do you think is number two? What is the topic these for you? Are my friends. Aren't they? Aren't they? Because Aren't it depends. Because okay. pens is plural. Okay. The, the, the word this, this, these are my pens, this. Okay, good. No problem. Let's let's take a look. We're going to try together. Linda lives here. Doesn't he? She. Linda, doesn't she? Okay, good. Doesn't she? Mm-hmm. They have arrived. Haven't they? Haven't they? Okay. Haven't they? There isn't a hut. Is there? Is there? Is there. Okay. Is there? Your name is uh, Ali. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? I am your friend. Aren't I? I. Aren't I? Good. The magpie can't sing. Can it? Can it? it? Can it? Good. And he hasn't cut the tree. Has he? Okay. Has he? Exactly. There you go. Those are all the correct answers. Now, let's look at them and tell me if there are any that is that you are not clear or any you don't understand. I understand, but sometimes I don't know why I feel very confused. And, and sometimes I can't find the true answer, but I, I understand why I don't explain myself why I can resolve if I know <laughs> because because when I was uh, writing alone, okay, or could be uh, I can type it well or maybe the apostrophe maybe no I don't know but I understand but sometimes I have some inconvenience with. In this case, in this exercise, mm -hmm. I don't know why I don't find the, the, the good answer. Uh, your name is Ali. But I I, I know it. Uh, okay. the, the another one, uh -huh, the another one, um, I'm your friend. Okay. I don't know why I feel confused, but I understand it. Uh, but it's, it's normal because this is like what Maximo asked. Remember, it's more confusing usually that I am because I am normally you think, oh, is am I? Uh -huh. But but no, it's not always is for I am is going to be aren't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Only yeah. Only in negative. Only in negative. Yes. Ah, uh, only negative. Oh, yes. Okay. So, for example, I am not, uh -huh. uh, I am not happy. Am I? 
as an example. Yes, but yes. It's not normal. So that's why they don't put. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, I could I consider that he had to learn very well this this task because I only have to learn. Yeah, it's only practicing. Only practicing, practicing. yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the class was very interesting. I'm, I'm glad. Like, uh, I'm yeah. glad that you liked it. And we we can see that now we are finished and tomorrow we are ready to review and to begin the final exam. Don't worry, tomorrow we will have enough time to do the four sections, which are the listenings and all the readings and the writing and the vocabulary. But we will do the those tomorrow, okay? Yes, yes. Okay, cheers. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Have a great night, and I see you tomorrow. Thank you. You too. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.